Hello and welcome to my next tutorial. Today we are going to make one of these. That's right, they spin. And they spin independently of each other if you do it correctly. That's pretty awesome, but don't stare at it too much. You might get hypnotized. Do your homework and don't complain. You're getting very sleepy because of my boring tutorial. However, I'll try to do better. So let's get started. We're going to start off with the outer ring. And as many of you know, this one looks a lot like the coin spinner. Okay, I'm going to maximize the sides here. And the numbers are going to be pretty easy. 100 by 100. I know, right? But the height is going to be 5. So click on that. Enter 5. We're good to go. Let's just duplicate this one. Control D. And the height is going to be a little bit different. Now, this one is going to be 90 by 90. Now, I've had students try, try to make one of these on their own, and it just doesn't work because they think, oh, I'm just going to copy and paste this, and it doesn't work out because there's some math involved. You can't just copy and paste and make it smaller and just call it a day. No. Now, today, we're going to be using a lot of the Align tool, which is the letter L. So this lesson is brought to you by the letter L. So let's align. There it is, it's aligned, right? This was 90 by 90. The height doesn't really matter because we're just trying to get rid of this, this uh, center part. We're gonna group this with Control G, which is also that one right there. We have our outer <coughs> ring. Now we're gonna use two cones. You ready for this? Two cones. And the measurements are gonna be five by five by five. I know, super complicated. By the way, every cone that we use from now on will be five by five by five for all of these lessons. Now, again, I've seen students try to make one of these on their own and they don't really try to <clears throat> align. Again, letter L, align. So, okay, first let's try to get this over here and now let's align this to the ring. By the way, we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing this with all of them. So here it is, I'm gonna click the letter L and I only want to align it in this direction. If I click here, it's going to be right the center. I don't want that. So I'm going to make this a hole and I'm going to hit the down arrow. This is where we want to get close up. And let's make this transparent by clicking the letter T. I'm going to click on that right. Let's see if I can get there right. Okay, and I'm going to click the letter F to zoom in. Okay, this is where it gets important. First of all, let's maximize the sides because it's just smoother that way. <clears throat> okay, so... We want this to be pretty deep, but we don't want it to go all the way through. So let's change this, the snap grid to point 0.1. I know people say it's hard to see behind me, but I'm trying to be very transparent here. All right, just a little bit more and let's see. Ooh, that's pretty close, pretty close. I'm gonna say that's close enough. All right, so we wanna do the same exact thing on the other side. Don't be lazy and just drag one over there. I'm gonna hit Control D. And then I'm gonna hit the letter M and I want it to go in that direction. So I'm gonna click here, there it is. And I'm gonna hit shift and the arrow key. Shift, I'm holding down the shift button as I move the whole thing with the arrow key on my keyboard. Okay, that's pretty close. Now I'm gonna zoom in with the letter F. Okay, now I'm gonna tap it in, tap just the letter F, or I'm sorry, just the, the arrow to get it a certain distance and I'm okay with that, all right. So we're good. What I'm gonna do next is I'm going to just, uh, let's see if I can. Well, I need to zoom in here. What I wanna do is make a copy of this because we're gonna be using this a lot. So I'm gonna hit shift and arrow to move it out of the way. And we'll be calling that one up a lot. Okay, so before we go on, we need to group these because it's gonna be harder to group them later. So let's group them now. Okay, control G, there it is. Now my lazier students, maybe they're not, like, yeah, they're lazy. They're just gonna do this. Control D and then shrink it and then try to put it there. But the thing is, it's not gonna work. The numbers don't work. Trust me, I did it myself and it didn't work. This is why I'm doing it for you. So the next ring, we, not, we want another ring. So here we go. We're gonna uh, maximize the sides here. There you go. And the size for this one's gonna be 87 
by 87. <clears throat> and of course, five, all of these are gonna have a height of five. Okay, so now the ring or this uh, hole that we wanna make, <coughs> again, we're going to maximize the sides and the height doesn't really matter, but this one's gonna be 76.76. .76. How did I get there? How did I figure out it was 76 by 76? Trial and error, trial and error. I'm just gonna group these two right there. I'm gonna click the letter L and align these two. They're aligned. I'm gonna group the two, Control G, and there it is. And then it's gonna go back to what we were, what we were talking about earlier. Oh, that's right. These things right there. So oh, not what I want. I'm gonna hit Shift, I'm gonna hold the shift button down and then the back arrow. Of course, I'm gonna make this transparent with the letter T and then I'm gonna zoom in hopefully on that one right there with the letter F. All right. So now this becomes a little bit different. We're gonna still do the same thing with putting a hole right here. Okay, cause that's not gonna change. We still need that. But here's what we're gonna do. I'm also gonna duplicate this and then shift it forward. Ooh, that's pretty close. Did I, oh, it's not even touching. This one has to touch this ring, so I'm gonna move it over. It's now touching, I'm gonna to make it a solid there. When this prints, it will need no supports. You got that? No supports, as long as it's touching all the way around, looks like it is. So now, this one is already selected. I'm gonna to try to select this one here, and I'm gonna duplicate. Click the letter M so that I can move it in that direction. There it is. Now I'm gonna do that thing where I hit the shift button, hold it down, and then I'm gonna move these things to the other side of the ring. And almost there. Okay, so now I'm gonna click the letter F to zoom in. As you can see here, it is not touching. So that looks pretty safe. I'm not sure how safe it is. I'm a little nervous about that one. Okay, less nervous, but still a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna group this with the ring. I'm gonna hit, oh, before I do, I'm gonna duplicate this and then have another set over here. I'll just keep it over there, away from everything else. Okay, I'm just gonna assume those are over here because I made another set and they're over here, you see that? So I'm gonna let that go. Now I'm gonna group these things over here. There's the outer cone, the inner cone, and the ring. I'm gonna hit Control G. All right, that's fine. Eee. This one, the outer one, and the ring, Control G. That's now a group. Okay, so the next one. All right, so the next one. Um, let's, uh, I'm gonna do the same exact thing another ring. Now, again, you're gonna to wanna to change the sides and the numbers, I'm not sure if you've seen the pattern already, but we're going down by 13. Every time we create a new ring, it's going down by 13. So let's, let's start here with five, because that's super obvious. The sides are maxed out and we're gonna make this 74. And let's just put this right here, 74. All right, so that's what we want. There, there it is. <clears throat> now we want, let's just duplicate this, Control D. And what do we want? We want it to be a hole. But this one's gonna be 63.43 on both sides. So 63.43. And of course, I'm going to align. All right, so on the outside we have 74 and on the inside should be 63 and it's already aligned so we're going to group control g now we're going to do the same thing we did over here let's go ahead and align these while we're at it l and l okay we're good there okay let's use these right here at the very top and drag them over here we want to do the same thing as we did before Make the transparent right there. And let's zoom in. By the way, if you have the mouse where you want it to, to zoom in, it will zoom in exactly to where your mouse is. Okay, so I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna, I selected this one and this one. And I'm just gonna get a little bit closer. 
All right, that looks fine. I'm, I'm going to make this transparent here so I can see that it's not actually touching anything over there. All right, that looks good. So I'm going to select this, select this cone, control D, click the letter M, and I want to go in this direction. So I click that one. Now I'm going to hit shift. I'm going to hold the shift button and then the arrow keys to go in that direction. It is a lot easier to have those around. All right, so now I'm going to zoom in with the letter F. And let's see what we have here. All right, that looks good. That's good. Let's see if I can move it a little bit more. Yeah, that's not bad. All right, looks like we're all the way in. Okay, I'm going to duplicate those. And they probably went far, far away. Where'd they go? Oh, they're still over here. I'm going to hit Shift and the arrow key to move them out of the way. Because now what I want to do is group the next one. All right, so there's this one. There's this one and this one. I'm going to group, control G. There it is. And again, I want, let's see if I can get that right there. Hold that one and this one, and then we're going to group. All right. So on to the last one. We're going to make another ring. So again, maximize the sides. And this one's going to be 61. For those of you doing the math, I think you already knew what number we were going to use. Great. Congratulations. Let's move this over. 61 and 61. <clears throat> now, the ring, did I already maximize the sides? Yeah, we're good. The ring is going to be, oh, this is going to be interesting. 49.91, 49.91. 91 and of course I maximize the sides I have a feeling I forgot to do that with some of these now I feel bad control L I'm sorry just the letter L and there we go and group control G and there it is I'm gonna put the, put it over here and I'm going to align this there and there okay so now I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna hit the T to make this one uh, click away now I'm going to click there, transparent. I'm going to group this one here and let's... Now I'm not sure if you noticed this, but I just dragged it. I didn't hit shift or anything, so it's it's not centered. I'm going to select the ring and the cone. Click the letter L. Click on the this ring right here to, to make sure that the ring doesn't move and now it's aligned. All right, let's zoom in right there where my mouse is. I'm going to select both the solid cone and the hole. And I'm going to just move it up yep, a little bit more. That should be fine. Let's make this one transparent so we can see what's going on. Yep, that looks fine. OK, so before we go on, hit, select that, select that one, Control D, click the letter M to mirror. And I'm going to hit the Shift key while I hold it down and the left arrow. I can't really see that, so let's go with F. OK, now I'm going to do that again. Yeah, that looks good. And that looks good. All right, so now <clears throat> before I do anything else, I'm going to hit Control D to have another set. I'm going to hold the Shift button down while I move the arrows over here. Now, you're probably asking yourself, why are you making another copy if this is it? Well, that's because it's not it. Let's uh, group this final one here, which may or may not be the final one. I selected the whole cone, the ring, and now the solid cone, and I'm going to group there. And now the whole cone, the solid cone, and the ring. I'm going to group that. All right. Looks like we're good to go. Now, in my class, here's what I'd like you to do. Uh, I want you to put something in the center here, maybe another circle. Now, for those of you that you know have been doing the math, maximize the sides. The last one we had was 61. So if you take 13 away from there, what are you going to have? I know. It's a hard one. I think you might be able to figure it out. But luckily, if you're going to put something in the center, maybe you put your initial, maybe a happy face, maybe a team logo or something. I don't know. Put something that makes it yours. I've had students be very creative. Now, while you're doing this, by the way, you're going to want to do the same thing with adding these cones here. Or actually, you don't need the transparent one. You just need this one if it's going to be in the center. And then you need one down here just to make sure it goes into there. Now I've seen, for some reason, my students really like putting 
cones or these these cones right here all the way around which hey if that's what you like go right ahead by the way if you're going to do that may i suggest you do it so that it's super easy how do you do that you put one there you make sure it's aligned control or just the letter l you don't want the ring to move so you put it there okay good you duplicate it and then and then you would after it's duplicated, mirror, move it over here. Now with the shift, you want to put it on the other side. Now what this does, it creates one on either side that you can rotate, right? You've probably seen this happen in other, in other videos where you, you want to create a shortcut. So I have that and I have that. And let's see how much is in there. That's not bad. So I'm going to duplicate and then I'm going to rotate this. Let's put it there. And then control D. It should be moving. It's not. I don't know why. Let's move it there. Control D. It's still not moving. I'm going to move another one right there. By the way, all I'm doing is looking at these little lines and doing the same thing over and over again. It should be duplicate, duplicating it on its own, but it's not, and that's okay, because I can just drag it over and over again. So <coughs> in my class, you're gonna wanna add something to the center and decorate it in some way that says, this is mine and no one else has one just like mine. And the last step, of course, is to subscribe to my videos and enjoy making your own little hypnotizing coin thing here, because who doesn't need an extra tool in their bag, all right? Have a good one. Hope you enjoy this. Have a great day.